Hello, welcome to Unholy Hand. My name is Mike, and I've brought a few friends of mine today to come and play Commander. Um, just to get straight into it, um, I'm playing Henzi, uh, Toolbox Tor Tora. Tori. Tori. Tori? Tori? Henzi Tori. Yeah. Tori. Playing Henzo. He Henzi Tor. Fuck off. Henzi Toolbox <laughs> Ter. <laughs> Tora. Tori. 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 Let us know in the comments what his name really is. I really want to be. Uh, casting creatures out for their blitz costs and attacking people really hard and then gaining value through death triggers whether that's making them other other players sack their uh, sack their creatures or lose life and hopefully making them suffer. Hi I'm Sean I, I'm going to be playing Magda Brazen Outlaw uh, so the idea of this is tap dwarves create treasures when I have five treasures, bring in, bring in big uh, dragons, artifact creatures, and then just hit people really hard. That's the plan. Hi, I'm Luca. I'm going to be playing Lathral Blade of the Elves, and this is basically just elves and elves and elves and elves and elves. And we're just going to make them big and swing out. Nice. Hi, I'm Ian, and I'm back again. But this time, I'm not playing a frog. I'm playing two partners. Cecily Haunted Mage and Othelm Sigardian Outcast. This is a Wooburg deck which casts lots and lots of background, lots of the loyal lieutenant cards to get maximum value out of casting my commanders. Nice, cool, this looks great. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's get going. Uh, Sean's going first, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna draw for 10. Oh. I'm gonna play a mountain. I'm going to tap said mountain, and I'm going to play a soul ring. And I'm past it. Threat. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. Okay. I'm going to play a skim for Elder Hall tapped, and I will pass turn. I will draw a card. I will play a command tower, and I will pass the turn. Cool. Uh, draw for turn, and we will play a cinder blade tapped, and pass turn. Okay. Uh, untap, and draw. I will play a mountain. I'm going to tap all four. I will bring in Magda. And I will also cast a seven dwarfs. And then I will pass ten. I will untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a Undergrowth Stadium, would anyone like to concede? No, I think you're good. <laughs> give it no? Okay. I'll give it a bit. <laughs> <Yeah. see. laughs> I'm going to tap one, I'm going to play a Deathrite Shaman. So I can tap him to exile target card, a uh, land card from a graveyard, add one mana of any colour. I can pay black and tap, exile target instant or sorcery from a graveyard, each opponent loses two life, or green and tap, exile target creature card from a graveyard, I gain two life. Right. And with that, I will pass. Okay. I will draw a card. I will then play Den of the Bugbear, which enters untapped because I only can control one other land. Then I will tap that for a red and one other and play Popular Entertainer. So some kind of cabaret thing, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, Commander creatures I own have whenever one or more creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, go target creature that player controls. Nice. And then pass the night. Okay, lovely. Untap. Our dwarf turn. Uh, I'll do a hassle. Right. I'll play a Kessig Wolf run and I'll tap two for Arcane Signet. And then I'll pass tap. And tap. Roll. I'm going to tap four. I need to cast Chandra, Torch of Defiance. Comes in with four loyalty counters, and then I will uptick her. She oh, sorry, so she's got a uh, plus one exile the top card of your library. You may cast that card. If you don't, it um, Chandra the Torch of Defiance deals two damage to each opponent. Or I can also plus one add two mana, two red mana to your mana pool. Got a minus three. Chandra the Torch of Defiance deals four damage to target creature. 
and minus seven, I get an emblem. Whenever you cast a spell, this emblem deals five damage to target creature or player. Nice. Okay. Gross. Very so cool. Uptick her to one. They're going to add two red mana, and I'm going to use that two red mana to cast a Dragon Lord Servant. The dragon spells cost one less to cast. Uh, I will then go to combat. Uh, as Mike doesn't have any blockers. Well, Ian doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, man, I haven't oh. argued by calling oh, that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th that thanks, way. Mike. <laughs> in my head, I was like, oh, that's a creature. That's fine. Uh, in that case, I will share the love. Uh, Mike, you can have three. And Ian, you can have two. I'm very happy to take two commander damage. Cool. And then I'll take uh, three. Okay. And then as I had two dwarves tap, I will create two treasures. There is a lot of value going on on that board. It's already popping up. Yeah. And, and then I will pass turn. Cool, I will untap, I can draw. Let's play a forest, and then we're going to tap three for a Reese the Exiled. Whenever Reese the Exiled attacks, you gain one life to each elf you control. Uh, I can pay a black and sacrifice an elf. I can regenerate him. I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. You draw. Then I'm going to play an island. And then I am going to tap two for swift foot loops. And then I will pass turn. Nice. Unset. And I'll draw for turn. Uh, I'll play a uh, Twilight Maya. And I will tap the Arcane Signet for black to give this um, black and green and red for Henzi Toolbox Torre. So his ability is each creature spell you cast with mana value four or greater has blitz. The blitz cost is equal to its mana cost. So if you don't know uh, what blitz is, um, you can cast creatures for its blitz cost. Its blitz cost, and if you do, it gains haste. And when this creature dies, you draw a card, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Blitz costs you pay costs one less for each time you cast your commander. So um, my blitz cost is one less at the moment. Um, I think that's it for me. I passed time. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe and comment on how terrible our gameplay is. We're looking to release new content every one to two months, so when you subscribe, you'll be notified on all the epic gameplays that we're going to showcase. We're on other social media platforms, so please give us a follow and join the cult. Oh, I'm tapped. Fuck it, I'll get it in the end. Okay, I'm going to uptick. Number one, and I'm going to choose to exile the top card in my library. Um, so let's see what we get. I'll play an evolving wilds. Uh, it says you can cast. Oh, so you can't play. So you can't play. So you can't play wilds. Okay. So that just stays in exile. But you deal two damage, don't you? Oh, if yeah. you don't. If you don't. So yeah, everyone takes two damage. Yeah. I will pay free. Cast Raiders Carvey. Um, I will then. Uh, so, whenever Raiders Carvey attacks, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it in onto the battlefield tapped. Cool. Um, and it's crew free. So, what I will do there. Everyone's got. Oh no, you still haven't got a blocker. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to combat. I will swing Seven Dwarfs and Magda. Hey, you in? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how much commander damage? Sorry. It's two. another two. Thank you. And then I'll uptick my treasure. How much for the Seven Dwarfs? It's three. Three? And also, there's four treasures on the board as well. And, oh, I, no. and I will pass turn. I think this might be a very quick game. Keep me or uh, I'm going to play a forest. And then I think it's time we get Lafro out. So I'm going to play Lafro, Blade of the Elves. It's 
so lateral has menace and whenever um, it deals damage to uh, a player i create that many 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens and then i can tap uh, and tap 10 untapped elves i control each opponent loses 10 life and i gain 10 life um and then i might as well attack uh you for free yeah i'll take free and whenever he attacks i gain one life each elf i control so i'll gain three life and i pass done excellent oh untap draw um let's play another island then, yeah, then blue, black, red, and one for Cecily Haunted Mage. The first of my commanders. So my maximum hand size is 11. Whenever Cecily Haunted Mage attacks, I draw a card and lose a life. Then if I have 11 or more cards in my hand, I may cast an instant or sorcery spell from my hand without paying its mana cost. Nice. Yeah, that totally went over my head, but I'm sure it does lot. It sounds like it does lots of things. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Untap. Uh, no upkeep triggers, I'll draw for turn. Um, I'll cast a Foreboding Ruins tapped. Oh, that's foreboding. <laughs> it's quivering uh, in my yeah, boots. Yeah. And a colourless for Tenacious Underdog. Let's go to combat. And I'll see what, I'm going to swing free at Chandra. Ooh. I'll take that. Sneaky, sneaky. And then I will pay a colourless and a green to cast Life's Legacy to sacrifice Tenacious Underdog to draw three cards. Uh, so Life's Legacy says, as an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice creature, sacrifice Tenacious Underdog, draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power. So that's three. So I'm going to draw three. Nice. And I'll pass time. How many cards you got in hand? Seven. It's alright for some. Load it up, baby. <laughs> okay, I'm going to up uptick Chandra and create two red mana. I'm gonna use two red mana plus these two and that one to cast Lathless Dragon Queen, uh, which is one less because of Dragon Lord Servant. So it's flying. Whenever a non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a 5-5 red dragon creature token with flying. Oh. And then I can pay a colourless and red, and then dragons I control get plus one plus O until end of turn. Yep. Any responses? Oh, hell no. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm then going to crew Raider's Carver using seven dwarves. Because I've tapped a dwarf, I create another treasure. I will then sack five treasures to search for an artifact or dragon card. Well, what is he looking for? Do you know? He can find anything. He can find a blight steel colossus. This is true, yeah. He can anything to demolish us. I'm thinking like long term annoyance. Long term annoyance? But it's like. Okay. One bale fire dragon, so it's flying. I'm going to end up ever it deals combat damage to a player deals that much damage to each creature that player controls. Uh, and that is a non-token dragon coming into play. So I will create a 5-5 red dragon as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I get the feeling this is going to be a quick game. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to enjoy playing more backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but none of them have haste. Yeah. So you've got a turn. Okay. So if you can't get rid of it, be nice to me. I don't want to leave you alone. I don't think anybody's having any sympathy for you right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send Raiders Carvey at you, Luke, and okay. Magda will commit you, Mike. Okay. 
So we'll cool. put Now we'll we create another treasure. How much? So Magda's what doing was two. What the car? Seven dwarfs. Ah, yeah. yeah. So then that's four coming at it. Four. And then I will do the attack trigger on Raiders Carby. It is a Latin, so it comes in. So that's pretty amazing for someone who's only got three lands. The Chandra treasure. Yeah. yeah. Mono red doing crazy yeah, things, isn't it? Jeez. Aggro things, isn't it? Yeah, true, yeah. yeah. Just big creatures. Stop. Big dumb yeah. dragons. Uh, I'll pass turn. Okay, I'll answer. Let's keep draw. Let's play a forest. I'm gonna start off by going to combat. Might come attack you with my commander. Yep, so that's two commander damage. And I will get two ground elves that don't have reach. And then I'm gonna tap four. I'm gonna play Crown of Scamfer onto Reese. So Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each elf you control and has reach. Uh, and I can return it for free, um, two colorless and a green from my graveyard to my hand. So at the moment it's one, two, three, four, five. It gets plus five, plus five. Jeez. And that's just to defend myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm past ten. <laughs> right. I will untap. Draw. Okay. I'm going to play a Cinder Glade to match Mike's Cinder Glade. <laughs> uh, and then tap it for a green, and then a white, and one more to bring out Off Helm, the Guardian Outcast. So he has uh, pay two and tap him. Choose target creature card in my graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Return it to the battlefield tapped. Uh, then I'm going to tap one and equip boots to him. Then I'll just have to go at you, I'm afraid, Mike. So two from one, three from the other. Cool, and then, so whenever one or more creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, go target creature that player controls, so goading your commander. Um, and then I will pass turn. Okay, untap. Oh, this is a problem, isn't it? <laughs> okay, untap. Draw turn. I'm going to reveal a forest, play a game trail. I'm turn it to hand. And then I'm gonna try and help help the table out a bit. It's gonna upset a few people, but it's gonna happen. Not naming any names. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who you should be talking about. <laughs> One. Uh, for two black. So there's two black here. Two black, colorless, and a black for Massacre Worm. So I'm gonna blitz in. Mask a worm, and when it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponents control get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Okay. Any, any response? I have a response. I'm going to tap a green to tap Deathrite Shaman to exile your Tenacious Underdog. Yep. So then I will gain two life. Okay. And then if this resolves, creatures with minus uh, with two power, uh, two toughness will die, and then however many you lose. Two life for each death. So, okay. so that's okay. those two. Six. So that will go back into the command zone. So you get take two. Lose two. And I'll lose two as well. I have four. a D6. Does it as well? I'll, I'll two for each. Oh, D6. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, we'll go to combat. Sean, I think. Six five, massacre worm at you, Sean. And this is goaded, so a free free. You. It's a 1-1 one, one at the moment. Oh, no, it's his opponents. Oh, it's opponents? Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, when, when it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponents control get minus two, minus two to enter turn. Okay, I will just take the three then. Okay. I'm going to block with the token dragon. Okay, so this dies. This dies. Uh, you get to draw a card. No. 
I will take your word for that. <laughs> um, oh, it's just one minor too many. There was a particularly cool, cool play, but it, it can't happen because I've- Too much mana. Just one. Um, cool, a second main, I can't do anything. And then I'll pass turn to you, Sean. And then uh... That would have been so cool. I mean, it was pretty cool you did anyway. It was, yeah. So I'm just doing maths. Don't like that. Don't like maths. Okay. I'm gonna uptick. Adding another two mana to my mana pool. I'm gonna use the two plus this to cast Unexpected Windfall. I'm gonna discard Castle Embreath. Uh, and then in response to uh, casting, I'm going to pay another two to cast Increasing Vengeance, copying Unexpected Windfall. Because it's a copy, I don't have to do the discard. So I'm going to create four treasures and draw four cards. Look at you little stonky plays. That was unexpected. Jeez. I feel like you've, you're really doing work with it. This is probably actually the first time I feel like... This, this is probably is like done what it's supposed to do, off, yeah. yeah. Yeah, big time. So I will go to combat. And I will send... Balefire at you, Luca. Okay. And Lapliss at... Mike. So you've got six in the air. You've also got six in the air. Okay. I'm going to have to block. Oh, is it got, so got reach? Oh, reach. Oh, okay. Uh, you can change that if you want. No, that's fine. I think that's <laughs> a well good idea. I forgot I had reach. Yes, well, plus one, plus one. Oh, I, did, I read the top half. I didn't read the bottom half. No. Reading the card explains <laughs> the card. <laughs> that's fine. So, so uh, I'll take six. I'll block. Okay. What? So they'll, oh, it'll live. Yeah, because it's just a three, it's just a five, four. Oh. I will pass ten. Okay. I will untap. I'll keep and draw. This is scary. Damn. Yeah. I touch one with my commander. It's got minus. Oh, okay, so I take. Uh, two commander damage. I will create two elves. And then I think I'm just going to return this to my hand from the graveyard, and then I'm just going to equip it to an elf as a defense. And I will pass turn. Okay. I will untap. Say what, Ian? If you don't have a fly, I think you might, I think you might be sent to a target. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll draw a card. Um, I will play... Rivetiers Overlook, sacrificing it immediately. Search my library for a basic Swamp Mountain or Forest. I think I'll search for a... Whichever one I get first. A mountain. Sometimes uh, it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. And then I gain a life. So up to 30. No longer in any danger whatsoever. <laughs> Said no one ever. Yeah. Then I'm going to pay a blue and one, two, three, four for a mole drifter uh, to draw two cards. So was that for your vote cost? No, a... no. Oh, Full cost, yeah. I need the blocker. <laughs> <laughs> Sensible play. Yeah. I'm going to swing at you, Sean, with Cecily, who is a three, five. Okay, I'm going to block with the Dragon Lord Servant. Cool. I draw a card and lose a life. Uh, and if I have any... Oh, yeah. yeah. That's fine. <laughs> and then... So, it didn't deal combat damage to a player, so I will pass turn. Okay, untap. Save us, Mike. I don't know, mate. Yeah, Mike's got this. I need to be able to save myself first. Kill the, the Belfar dragon. <laughs> please, please. I'll play a Swamp turn, I think. Yep. Um, and then let's go with one, two, three, four, five, 
six for Ziatora, the incident. Oh, good card. That's why I was like, please, you don't have a flat head and it can't have the interest of me. <laughs> um, so that's cast at its full cost, so it doesn't do the blitz trigger uh, uh, mechanic. Um, go to combat. Uh, swing Henzi at Chandra for free. For free? Okay, I'll take free on her because I can't block. Yeah. I'm going to skip second main so I've got nothing else. I'm going to go to end step and I'm going to sack Henzi. Uh, which will trigger Zutora. It'll deal free damage to. Oh, but that's fine as it is. Um, Ian's flyer. Oh, oh that's oh, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> no defense for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I'll pass then. Uh, you get treasures, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, I get uh, free treasures. So I can unlock her and her dice plates. Sure. Thank you. Oh, I can feel this going off now. <laughs> I feel the engines are turning. I feel like I understand this better now. Untap. And draw. I will then play a mountain. I will uptick Chandra to add two red mana. I'll tap the soul ring and use the two red to bring Magda back into play. I will then tap four. Class Clock of Omens. Oh, combo warning. It, like isn't, your, it, isn't it? I would then tap one and I feel like sack the, two treasures. I feel like for clarity, as we kind of skip the real zero conversation, I feel like you should probably let people know there is a combo in it. There is a combo in it. Okay, right. Here is said combo. Fuck. I'm going to choose dwarves. Good. Any, any responses? Can anybody respond to that? No, no okay. matter. So, Shit. what I will do, I will tap two artifacts, which is going to be Bloodline Pretender and Clock of Omens. And that is a dwarf tapping. Yep. So that creates a treasure, but it's, yep, so that creates a treasure. And then untap target artifact, which is going to be Bloodline Pretender. Yep. I then tap Bloodline Pretender and the treasure and just keep doing that infinitely. At the end, I have infinite re uh, infinite tap treasures, but I can sack them to Magda because it's Magda that's sacking them, not their yeah. ability. So with my infinite number of treasures, I will first of all cast Terror of the Peaks, which is a flying 5-4. Uh, spells your opponent's cast at target Terror of the Peaks cost an additional three life to cast. Uh, the main part for this is the second part, which is whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. So, with that on the board, I will then play out all of my dragons and artifact creatures. So, just to do the maths, I will go clockwise around the table. So, Luca, that is five damage. Another five damage. Uh, then Fury Born Hellkite comes in, but the second part of that is it does get the Blood Burst 6 because someone's already taken damage, so that's 12. Um, you also get a trigger from yeah. Lathras. Yeah, so they're... Uh, 5, 6. Oh, so that'll be another 15 damage. So is this an ETB, not a, not a creature cast? Whenever another creature enters... Oh, another world. creature. So I will be dead from those three creatures. Okay, okay. so we then go to... So it's whatever that is, plus 5. Plus 5, yeah. Okay. So then we go Hellkite Tyrant. Uh, so that is six plus five, so a number 11. That's oh, fine, I can take that. Uh, that isn't Dragon, you can just take one there. Ha! I laugh at your pitiful combo. <laughs> Three plus five, so a number eight. And then five plus five for another 10. Oh. Like it, you know that card we were talking about that oh. never comes out? Oh. So that's a Blight Steel Colossus, so that's 11 to you. Oh. And, that, and then you can have another two. Oh. He's teasing you. And then you can have oh. another seven. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. God, we got out. And then oh. death. Kate. Good game, guys. Well done, well done. Well done, well done. Well done sir. Did anybody have anything interesting? 
Um, coat of arms. No. Uh, which, if I didn't get board wiped, I could have probably done a lot of damage. I had raised by giants in my hand. So there was a specific oh, reason I played Battle Fired Dragon. Mike used to play Lathril, and he the amount of times he like swung like 50 elves at me, I was like, I cannot let you get a and board to be of fair, elves. This would have been terrible. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so um, just for, for, for the thing, this wasn't actually my deck, this was Luke's deck. Um, but uh, we were just getting in the, it, we, we would have uh, had a bit of fun because we would have probably cast Victimize and probably would have brought back Massacre Worm again. But there was also Team of Sabretooth in my hand that I was hoping that I could blitz out um, maybe Tree Shaker Chimera, then bounce it back to my hand, so then I could gain the the, the card. Oh no, because it dies, so wouldn't you wouldn't. But um, other than that, really, there wasn't really anything. But it was a shame because I, I felt like I was just starting to understand it and get the engine rolling on it. But uh, yeah. you big, and your big dragons. dragons, big oh, dragons. Oh, right, cuts. If you got to the end, thank you for sticking it out. Please like and subscribe, and welcome to the cult.